All right, what is up, everybody? So I'm going to be playing a um, Dominaria Seal in real life tomorrow. So I want to do a little bit of Seal practice here. Double herd migration. Hopefully we get a bunch of basic land types. Also got Cruelty of Crick, Cruelty of Gix, Shieldred, and Braids in black. So let's go green, black, and hopefully there's enough fixing for the uh, dragon. No. We do need to see a lot of cards at once. Here we go. So, cards that I think are quite strong. Missionary. Rest. I don't mind this card. Okay, this isn't cards that I don't mind. This is cards that I think are active, actively good. Um, Protector is good. Prayer Phalanx is good. Um, Impulse is pretty... Good, this is good. I think Impede Momentum could be okay, but not great. The Shadow is clearly good. I do like this card. Grades, Miasma, Rager, oh my gosh, okay, so. Let's see. I think. This card's actually kind of strong. Hammerhand is okay. Steel Crusher can be okay. Warbird's good. Welp's good. Dragon Lord's good. Iron Aedo's good. Fine Wall's good. Spear Spinner. This. This is great. We actually don't have very many lands, do we? Oh, okay, we do. Got boom, 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 boom. Some sort of Jun strategy, perhaps? Still 54 cards. Splashing a lot of red anyway. Huh. Still a lot of cuts. But the deck already seems so good.
Do I just have to survive to herd migration? So if that's the case, maybe cards like this aren't even necessary. Load is good with braids. Tough cuts here near the end. Phillips, John Legends. Hey, thanks for sticking around for the deck building portion. If you've enjoyed it so far, make sure to give a like and subscribe as we move on into these uh, games here.
So far, so good. It's an aggressive attack. Need lands now. Children's scary. It's a clock. Hopefully, opponent can just immediately deal with it. Sweet. We can blow this out if we have to. Okay, he's losing both creatures here, so we'll actually do something happening. Sojourner, play out our braids, and then we will ask the opponent. Well, they can't, so they take two, and then we draw. That seems pretty good. Forest is dope here. But we could just attack. Take this. Boom. Keep our braids. We would have made 
and die with the second creature, so. Sweet. Good first game of sealed there. Water Jones. Legends pile. Let's keep it up. Alright, we've got good colors. We definitely want to get Rootwalla down on two, or Iconoclast down on two, rather. So. We'll do it like this. That way, if opponent's a slow starter, we can get in. So do we want to do the Rager now? Do we want to get Sojourner next turn? Sojourner next turn, or Wala is probably fine. I mean, probably better than Rager. No Sojourner. So I attacked, even with Robert Walla's ability down, he still blocked with a 3-2. No, we'll definitely use the ability if we can. Yeah, we certainly can against this guy. Could have just used it to deal freaking four more damage to him. But I like the uh, bone splinters. A red for Legomos would be great with the bone splinters as well. And Bone Rattle gets back um, Iconoclast for free. Huh. Hello. Miria's outrider. So sitting pretty here with two lethal threats. And we've got more tuck bone rattle in the back. We'll see what opponent can do here. We could still be in a game here. Huh. Okay. All right.
two and zero in our sealed environment here. Let's keep it up. Starting off with good mana. Go ahead and keep Legomos Braid combo here. It's going to be really exciting. Um, I don't have any basic lands that I really want to get, so I'm just going to keep the migration too. Legomos! Gets in with his little 2 1. So, this is fun. I could have also done Rager. Rager is a good blocker against Iconoclast, but I'd like to get the Braids combo going too. Okay, nice. So, yeah, I, you know, taking a lot of damage here. Opponent also will be taking some good damage. So, he has to give me a card and take two. Sweet. We've got a Fire Nado next turn for a big blocker, so we might actually be able to race him. No blocks. It's also got something for one red. Alright, Shieldred is really good as well. So do we take a turn off to play Shieldred? Or do we just fire NATO? No, I think... We'll do it like this. No attacks. Braids will sack creature and he'll take two. Give me a card. Gain two life. Alright, Shieldred, coming in, coming in clutch, Silex, so he's going to wipe the board. But we just kill him, right? Such an aggressive start from the opponent. And uh, Shieldred coming in clutch there with all of our combo pieces that lets us draw a card. We were about to do double Rager, and Rager's actually would have, drawn, would have gained a life instead of losing a life. That was going to be sick, but opponent didn't even want to see it. So, Alright, Shieldred also showing up in this game. Hopefully we can draw a Swamp. Got our little goblin up there. Bortuk gonna be able to get Shieldred back when she inevitably dies when we play her. And we do, we are able to play her on four, so. Brawler's a good one. This card is super strong. Hopefully Shieldred gives him at least a little bit of pause here. We don't immediately see uh, no 
little spell. But I can't block the Brawler. I can block Rootwalla this turn. I just have to take it. Okay, I think I'm forced to use the Fire Nado here. This is actually a good combo with the Rager Inlet turn that I'm gonna have to do. And then attacking is risky, but I also can't block, so screw it. Let's attack. You wanna race Shieldred the Apocalypse? Let's race. He can hit in with the Root Walla. It attacks as a 7-7. But we, we gain life. We can force him to pump. And we probably we probably do that. Nice. The Filer of Dreams, huh? Okay. Opponent's not gonna make it easy for us. Let's get this combination started. Play our last piece of the puzzle. Or no, we still need white. Um, we'll attack. <laughs> Opponent doesn't want to trade off his Defiler of Dreams. He's going down to eight. And then Board Tuck Bone Rattle will get our Shieldred back and put it right onto the battlefield. That'll be so good. Oh, you drew a card opponent? Good for you. I guess we're trading off our root wall here. I think that's fine. That's probably game. <laughs> wow. Pretty strong pile that we've been given here. Some John Legends with Shielder of the Apocalypse. Bortuk getting Shielder back. I mean, that was beautiful. Or what, 4 0? Let's keep it up. Man, that was incredible. I mean, opponent never stood a chance. And our lands have been just super key. Like, imagine if we didn't open good basic lands. I mean, uh, good common, like, dual lands. We wouldn't have been able to play the deck the same way. We would have had to use our migrations more. We would have had to put one of each basic land type in. And that would have really, like, slowed it down. And although we can't fetch, like, the fifth land type, we don't really need that. We just need four out of five. And that's usually what we have. White is the one that we don't... We only have one white source in the deck. We don't have any white cards, so, like, I'm not too sad about it. Oh, opponent! The 
game is trying to find a uh, good opponent to send to us here. Alright, let's go. Only black and green. But any land unlocks shielded. And we have a two drop. So hopefully we get on tap land here. Cut down. Man, that's a tempo swing. He's got his phone for a follow up. That's not cool. So we should have played our tap land and we could have got our frog out. Because right now we're what? Playing Rager, looking for a land, I guess? Yeah. Man. If we can't get a land and he doesn't have removal for Shieldred, we'll be okay, but he's in black red, so he probably does have removal. And, uh, he's about to draw a card on this block. Really fast start from the opponent with a one mana removal spell for both of my creatures and uh, aggressive curve out, and we just got stomped into the dust there. So, like I said, you win four in a row, and then it's like, hmm, okay, we'll send you uh, somebody who is really stomping. And to be honest, it's a fair way to do it, I guess. But hopefully it's not too stompy on these latter games. So we've got uh, Sultai colors here. We would look for uh, red, preferably, but we don't find it. We can still play Iconoclast, we can play Rager on 4. We could go for Rager on 3 over Iconoclast. That, we wish we had done that last game. But this game, if he has a slow start, we wish we had done this. And we still have Tribute to Warborg, even if we... Oh, so... I think this is good. Definitely tribute something if we can. And then Rager hopefully draws our fourth land or fifth land. Doesn't draw the land. That's really unfortunate. It's like the only thing that could go wrong. But we're only playing 40 cards and we're playing 24. You know, I mean 17 lands, so... We'll see what happens. We've got another Rager. This really needs to get a land though. Wow. I don't know why it's doing this to me, but I mean, yeah, we can definitely lose the game if we don't draw any lands. At least we still have some playables.
so we probably have to get rid of that. Might as well get rid of a rager to do it. Although... We could attack in for four if we use the Ritwala with a Knight of Dust Shadow. Opponents can't gain life, menace, versus this ability that we don't really want to be doing. Like, Root Wall is better than this, and the Shadow is better than this, but <laughs> ultimately, like, it's about the tempo of doing four rather than doing two this turn. If we draw an untapped land, I'll just slam the Moss Beard Ancient. Trample 7-7 seven, seven seems good. And if he kills it, we can still get it back with Bone Rattle, even though it doesn't come right back to the battlefield. He's gonna draw a bunch of cards too? Damn. Oh, he's just gonna kill me. Wow. Assemble on the lands again. Or else we would have had our Moss Beard Ancient. Sucks, but oh well, it happens. Like I said, we're sending the best of the best at us. this
We'll just get rid of the ramper. Opponent on the walls deck. No gaming life for you. No 7-7 seven, seven for you. Sucks that I don't have red, but I still think four three threes is probably good enough. I could get the red here, but probably better just to get the other migration. This seems good. <laughs> and then I get shouldered back. Oh, from a graveyard, so I can even get his Moss Warden. Really? I got smashed two games in a row. It's my turn to smash back. Getting to seven lands and we just win the game. That's what the deck was designed to do. We're five and two here, so we've made back our value and then some. I'm happy with it. But of course I'd love to get the seven. Let's try our best.
This is a rough one. So is this, but at least we can play one thing. So Braids isn't Phyrexian, she's just here to also F shit up. Got a green? So opponent's going to be able to minus two. Do we risk throwing braids into that if he's got another one damage? Um, probably, right? Because we've got the other guy. Attacking a land is a little bit spicy, but I don't think we're there just yet. Do we just go for it? Legomos is pretty sweet here.
I should have played Phyrexian Rager there. Stupid. What can I say? <laughs> Raids and Logomos again. Coming in really awesome here as a combo. Very aggressive. I think I got him with Cruelty of Gix, right? Nice! That was fun. Fun for me at least. <laughs> so what, we're five and one? Or I mean five and two? Six and two? Yeah, six and two with our sealed Jund legendary deck. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around. Really, really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. Um, this was a really awesome sealed. A lot of synergy here between the Gomos Braids, Bone Tuck, Brown Red Elm, Shieldred, even. Uh, this is really awesome drafts, and I really, really have had a lot of fun with this one. Hopefully you had to. Sorry, sealed, not draft. Anyway, let's get into it here. Evolved Sleeper. So it can become a cleric with 2-2. Two, two. And then it can become a Phyrexian. <sighs> Could have threatened the attack there first, probably should have. So that can actually double level up this turn. Interesting. Berg and Braids go kind of well together because I can sack some lands to give this some power. I guess maybe we play Erg first to get that Scry going.
Although I would really like to braids too. Get the red down. Can't attack here, he's gonna double level up. It should have been all black. It should have been like black, 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 black. It should not have been one in black. I don't agree with that. <laughs> but he can just draw a card every turn now. So, it'll be a fun one. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, obviously, it's less than ideal for me. But, uh, I've got stuff going on too. This I can try and blow out. Yeah. Not good, not good. Oh. Um, it's not good enough, is it? There we go. Alright. The fire, we put out the fire. Now let's try and slowly win the grind. That's what our deck's designed it. Sect his goblin rather than give me a card. Hopefully, you heard migration for the win here. But loam speaker's kind of kind of spooky. It's free. Okay, you just got the best of his top four. That's also pretty spooky. So untapped land here would be really really great to just kind of stem the bleeding. Although, at least we can attack with raids, if this is all that he can do. <laughs> and then, once we cast her Migration, we can start um, sacking lands. Okay. So that's dealt with now. We just need to land off the top. <coughs> Tap land is a little bit disappointing, but uh. It is what it is, we have a lot of tap lands, so. Take this hit. <clears throat> and then we'll try to stabilize. Oh. This five life could also be really, really good. One block, like one big removal spell, and I'm out versus 
that, so I think I have to do this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep it. After I play Ancient, I will start attacking lands. Lands could they control have flying. Oh my gosh. He wins here with the six flying. Wow. Good for him. So Ancient was actually the right play. Although I still would have been in trouble. Ancient would have at least gained me some life. But if I couldn't deal with Tatio, I would have been dead regardless. Opponent had a great value game, and I'm happy with the six wins. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.